Hey everybody, uh, thanks for checking out the channel. Uh, today I'm gonna be doing something uh, a little bit different, but hopefully have some more videos up uh, about some of the climbing gear that I use uh, for uh, doing arborist work. And uh, my first one today, because I haven't really found much online about them, except a quick uh, notch video uh, that has no audio. It's just, uh, it just shows the strap being like put on. Um, Anyways, today I am talking about the lower strap for your climbing spurs here. So today I have the Notch uh, Quick Connect. It has the Cobra buckle on it here. And then uh, the Buck by Buckingham. These are just a Velcro strap. Now, at some point in your climbing career, you're going to have to replace these lower straps because most likely you you bought a pair of climbing spurs that come with uh, the Kevlar straps or like a leather and nylon kind of mix, I think is what's on the geckos. Um, and at some point, you know, it's gonna wear out or, or you're gonna be displeased with having to choose uh, basically like a belt loop style um, tensioning system. And you're probably gonna upgrade to something like this. These are uh, 1.75 inch or one and three quarter inch wide uh, nylon webbing straps. And uh, one of the benefits is, you know, they're kind of quick and easy with the Velcro. They're a little thicker, so they kind of distribute uh, some of the pressure out a little more. And um, these are two of those. Now, Buck does have a version that has a Cobra buckle as well. Um, I don't have those. It's basically the same as the notch. Um, it's actually more expensive than either of these two, um, the buck being the least expensive and the notch being uh, the middle ground. The buck, I think, I paid 45 for these. Uh, these are 60 and I think the Buckingham with the Cobra buckle is actually in like the 80 or 90 range, which is way more expensive than either of them. Um, so long story short is, I, I don't think you should buy the one with the buckle. I, I think you should just go with the Velcro, um, and here's why. Uh, basically, first off, you get these on, and this buckle isn't really small. It, to me, it just seems kind of useless. Uh, I understand it's a quick connect, but it doesn't really save you any time. Uh, here, I'll throw them on real quick. So, basically, you'd come around, clip that on, and then cinch it down and get the Velcro there set. Um, the first problem I have is this puts a lot of pressure here on your foot. It's a pretty big buckle and it's flat, so it doesn't actually fit uh, this part of your boot. And because of that, you get this pressure on the top of your foot. And if you're gonna spend a lot of time in a tree and a lot of time in your spurs, you know, you want to eliminate any any spots that are going to cause you discomfort. So that's kind of the, the first and foremost uh, piece of it. The other thing, I don't know if these were meant to, you know, if you cinch them down tight or snug at least, uh, these are actually kind of a pain to undo. If you were to reach down and you had gloves on and maybe this year, you know, you're going to have sawdust or dirt or whatever around here. But once you get it sucked up against your boot, uh, these little releases are actually kind of hard to get to. This one's actually, this one here actually sits, it's pretty much pushing on one of the eyelets for, for the boots that I wear. And this one here is also sitting uh, very close to the top of the shoe, right by an eyelet, right by the laces. So they're actually kind of hard to get your hands. So you, actually that worked pretty easy. Um, and you snap them back in. But um, if you have them cinched down, they are kind of a pain. I've had I've had uh, much more trouble trying to get them undone. Usually I have to use two hands um, and that's sort of annoying. But aside from that, you also, this buckle doesn't seem to give you any benefit. I suppose, uh, here we go. Hang on. There we go. Um, so let's say you just had it set and you were happy with how, how tight it was, how snug it was. Um, 
when you undo them, if you're trying to avoid uh, not doing the Velcro every time, these are very hard to get back together on your boot, mainly because you're trying to get it back together where it's going to be as tight as it was before, and you're doing it on the curve here on the top of your foot, uh, top of your foot, like the side of your foot, basically. So when you're trying to actually put these on, and I'm actually sitting on a cooler in my <laughs> garage. If you were trying to do this just bent over next to a tree, you know, it would be a pain in the butt. Yeah, so um, you're trying to get them lined up, but because you have this set at your tension level, uh, it's hard to get them flat enough to actually get them to work. So there's... Ah. Did I get it? I got one side of it, there we go. Um, okay, so <laughs> there, as you can see, I mean, that's kind of a pain. And if you're gonna be uh, using these every single day, possibly taking them off a couple, three times a day, uh, moving from job to job, you know, you don't really wanna mess with that. So that's a huge, that's a huge problem for me. Um, and then otherwise, if you just say, oh, well, whatever, I'll just use the Velcro, uh, just undo the Velcro each time, then, Having the buckle is is redundant. It doesn't. You don't need it. There's there's no uh, no purpose to it really. Uh, here is the Buckingham, and this is just a Velcro strap. It's got a large leather pad here with uh, a ring, and here we go. Just feed it through, and. Velcro it down and that's it. And if you want to take it off, you don't have to try to unclip a buckle, you know, you just undo it and it falls right out. This ring is nice and big and you know, it doesn't get stuck in there or anything like that. So I think, you know, just the ease of use of this one is so nice. Plus let's go back to, you know, this one is uncomfortable right here. This uh, you can barely feel on the top of your foot you you feel a little bit of pressure just because it it is pulling the strap uh around the foot but it's dispersed really evenly and it actually it just feels really nice so because this is a bit of a this is thinner here it's smaller you know here you have this this is a big buckle right here so um this one and you have this is a nice thick piece of leather here and it's nice and wide and just distributes any of that pressure you might get uh, um, over a larger area and so for me <laughs> I just I'm a little confused because I know Notch puts a lot of effort into the design of their product I'll oh, see Is that one? Yeah, that'd be good. Um, they usually put a lot of effort and I mean, correct me if I'm wrong, but I just I just don't see the purpose of this buckle here. And I don't see the purpose of it for the Buckingham one either. It's exactly the same setup. Um, so I guess my two cents is avoid the buckle, save the money, save yourself a little discomfort and give yourself just, this one's easier to operate. Um, there's no redundancies to it and it's a solid hold. I mean, you have, you know, this one, you actually get a little less Velcro to uh, stick to it. It's got these, each of them have this little marker. Pretty much if you had, if, if you can't see this little white mark, then you don't have enough Velcro to hold it um, by whatever their standards are there. Um, but as you can see, this one's up a little further. So I've, I've only got well, I have, I have plenty of Velcro on the notch as well, but I have more on the all Velcro strap because I don't have to worry about such a big buckle. And it might be just a hair longer, but it wraps back around the back of my foot. I mean, this is very, very secure. These work really well. And um, I think just once you factor in the comfort, the comfort of it, you know, that's, that's really the, uh, the clincher there. So anyways, um, that's my take on two lower ankle straps for your climbing spurs. Uh, I hope this was helpful and, uh, look for more videos about some of the other Arborist gear that I have. I'm going to be posting up, um, 
and don't forget to like and subscribe. So thanks for checking out the channel. Bye.